Here's a conversation that you can start with family and friends and you can talk to people around you about the things of God and engage them so that you can start a conversation with them about God. Now, here's a question. What is the best way to correct others? Correcting others is never easy, but it's something that you and I need to do. It's hard to do it because sometimes we think that we're holier than thou or maybe pharisaical. But the reality is there are ethics and there are standards and morals of right and wrong that we need to be dealing with. And we need to be able to correct people properly. Now, for starters, I would encourage you to pray before you correct someone so that you're in the right spirit as you go ahead and lay down the things that you want to correct in them. Secondly, it says in 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 16, all scripture is breathed out by God and profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction, and for training in righteousness. Notice it says all scripture. Whenever you're correcting somebody, don't just correct them because of your standards and your morals and your ethics. Correct them based on scripture. It says that it is profitable for correction. I also want to use this verse to, to define for you and to help you understand there's a difference when you're teaching somebody, there's a difference when you're reproving or rebuking someone, and there's a difference when you're training somebody. But regardless of whatever it is you're doing, use the scriptures in correcting someone. It is profitable for righteousness. And so here we find two keys. Pray, use the scripture. A third key would be found in 1 Corinthians chapter 16, verse 14. Do everything in love. And finally, it says this in the book of 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 25, correcting his opponents with gentleness. This is a summary of the, really the keys when you're correcting people. Start off with prayer. Secondly, after you pray, make sure that you're using the scripture to correct people. Number three, do it in love. And finally, more than just doing it in love, do it with gentleness. Let's pray. Father... Give us the ability, give us the strength, the volition, Lord, the character that would be willing to step out and correct others when necessary. For even your word says that that is necessary. And Father, we're asking you, Holy Spirit, that you teach us and lead us to first of all pray. God, to use the scriptures, to do it in love, and to do it in gentleness. This we ask in Jesus' name, amen and amen. Amen.